Bernie Sanders said earlier this year that we should be talking about expanding Social Security benefits to make sure that every American re can retire with dignity. You've spoken of the need to reform Social Security. How is it that we get to reforming Social Security and other entitlement programs when even some of in our, in our own party don't want to do it? I was just hoping I'd get a Bernie Sanders question. <laughs> All right, Bernie Sanders is offering you free stuff. He wants to give you free health care. He'd give you a free car. He'd give you a free house. But guess what? There is no free lunch. That just means somebody else is paying for it, but they're not showing you who's paying for it. It is a disservice to the country for Bernie Sanders to say he's going to give you all more Social Security and you know, money's going to grow on trees and everybody will be rich and there'll be a chicken in every pot. The, the problem is, is Social Security is already short of money. For the last five years, Social Security pays out more than what comes in. Why? It's a simple demographic fault. People ask me, whose fault is it? Is it Republicans' fault or Democrats' fault? I say, nope. It's your grandparents' fault for having too many damn kids. <laughs> after World War II, there were these big families. The baby boom happened after World War II. But then the baby boom didn't do their job. You didn't have enough kids. And then your grandkids didn't have enough kids. So what happened is we used to have 16 workers for every retired person. Now it's three workers for every retired person. And we're living longer. Now, some of these are good things. Living longer, good thing. Less workers, smaller families, maybe a good thing, maybe not. But the thing is, is that Social Security is short of money. You can't promise people more money. You've got to figure out how to make do with less money. But we can fix it. I have a bill that would actually fix Social Security. It's not fun, so I'll promise you, you're not going to love it. You have to gradually raise the age of the eligibility. For my age and younger, it just has to get a little older, a couple months every year, but it's got to go to 70 for Social Security and Medicare. And I know nobody wants to hear that, but the opposite is I come up and tell you, everything's okay. You can have whatever you want and it's free, but we're going to destroy the country if we do that.